Alrighty, so we are going to install Google reCAPTCHA. So when you go to google.com slash reCAPTCHA, and <clears throat> this only works if you're signed into your Google account, but you go over here to Admin Console, and we're gonna add a site. We're gonna hit plus to create it. We're gonna call it the site's name. And then we wanna do reCAPTCHA v3, and then we will add the domain. Don't need the HTTPS or www, just the domain itself here. And then you accept the recapture terms of service. And then you want to get alerts if, in case anything, right? So you make sure that's checked. And then we'll hit submit. So this is the site key and the secret key. We want to make sure that you save these. I've both copied. And then what I'm going to do next is go into let's see under here under me calendar you go to settings and then we're going to go over here to google recaptcha options we're going to enable it enable it on the booking form enable it everywhere basically and you remember first is the site key and the secret key so you just copy that site key and the secret key and then you hit save changes and boom you are good to go if you're doing elementor any elementor forms at all you'll want to go on elementor settings and then you'll click on integrations and want to make sure remember we chose recapture v3 so we'll go here and copy the site key again paste it copy the secret key paste it, scroll down to the bottom, hit save changes. Now that you've properly added the Google reCAPTCHA v3 site key and secret key, the next thing you're going to want to do for Elementor forms is when you drag and drop the form and you're building the page out, there's the form it shows up. You're going to want to add item and then in type instead of text, you just scroll down to reCAPTCHA v3. And it just popped up right there. Hey, bottom right. You just hit update um, with Elementor, you know, and then it updates and it saves the form. And you can see it says item number four. You you can, you know, call it recap. It doesn't really matter. No one's going to see what it's called anyways, um, which is for organizational purposes. And it doesn't do anything to the form except for now secure it. Now, if the site has gravity forms, you will click here to gravity forms, and then you're gonna to go to settings. And right here under recapture settings, you're gonna copy the site key again, paste it there, copy the secret key, paste it there. And then you do not want checkbox because that is V2. You hit invisible for V3, save settings, and boom, CAPTCHA is now there in Gravity Forms. If you make any Elementor Forms, it's there in the Elementor Forms. It's also under ME Calendar. Once you have added reCAPTCHA, as previously shown under Settings, to actually have it show up on the form and to actually be a part of the form, you go to Forms. And then, obviously, if you don't have a form yet, Add New, Create One. This is just a test form for an example, and we're going to go into edit. And you can see I added that, but just, um, let's see, let's go over to advanced fields, drag and drop captcha. And typically the, the word captcha there, the field label takes up some space on the form, which may look funky. So I always just delete it. And then you can choose theme, light or dark, where you want it. I always choose bottom right of the screen. And then appearance, instead of visible, because we don't have a field to be visible or label. So we're just going to hide it. And then you just hit update. And that is how you add CAPTCHA to the gravity form once you have added the reCAPTCHA site key and the secret key and then added it into the gravity form settings.